Yeah, you know, there, there's been a lot of uh, conversation and, and uh, concern mm-hmm. over the mental health of people yeah. through this process. I think that's a very real thing. Um, people manage, uh, you know, different uh, mental challenges and emotional challenges uh, through the health of being around people. Right. Some of the, some of the benefits of being around other people. Uh, some people manage those things by being away from people. And you have to take that individual just because right. you have, a, you know, a software engineer who's coming in and working, they may have two very different experiences and backgrounds when it comes to associating with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. So that's why you have some, you know, talented employees right. who prefer to work for a big corporation where there's going to be a lot of people, and a lot of different things going on versus someone who is attracted to a smaller company with a more intimate setting, uh, a, a, a different type of culture, a different type of feel where they can know everybody and, and kind of feel, understand where they belong in the, in the, in the culture of the company in the, in the yeah. order. Of the company. So it's really paying attention to who you have as employed. Now that's a little bit easier for a smaller company. It's, I think it's, uh, it's, it's a difficult task for these large corporations working through these different questions. Um, so it's, it's one of those where you have to kind of weigh and pay attention to the people that you have. You have to yeah. consider, you have to ask that question of what is the best, not just for the company, but also for the person. And you are, which is like anything else, you're just, you're trying to find the balance. Right. You're trying to find the balance where it's fair and appropriate to both the employer and the employee. The the employer cannot continue if they don't have the right number of employees, right? right? Something has to change. But the employee is no longer an employee if they don't have a place to go work or if they do not go to work. And whether that's, you know, down the hallway in in a home office or if it's, you know, at a Starbucks like people used to do or if it's at a you know, central yeah. you know, office where people all know that they're expected to, to go to work. So it's really finding that balance that is uh, the, the key thing.